Hi everyone, welcome back to Hands-Free Studying for the MBE, brought to you by Brainscape. These upcoming property questions cover landlord-tenant law. Okay, let's get started. Question one, what is a leasehold estate and what are the four types of leasehold estates? A leasehold estate is an estate created and governed by a lease between the parties. The four types are a tenancy for years, periodic tenancy, tenancy at will, and lastly, a tenancy at sufferance. Question two, what is a tenancy for years? A tenancy for years can also be called a term for years, a fixed term tenancy, or an estate for years. Question three, when is a tenancy for years required to be in writing? If the lease is longer than one year, then it must be in writing to satisfy the statute of frauds. Question four, when does a tenancy for years terminate? A tenancy for years terminates automatically at the end of the fixed period or end date. Question five, what is a periodic tenancy? A periodic tenancy is one that automatically renews at the end of the period with no set end date, for example, a month to month lease. Okay, question six. How is a periodic tenancy created? There are three ways to create a periodic tenancy. The first is by express agreement. The second is by implication. So for example, if there's no explicit end date in the agreement, then it's implied that you have a periodic tenancy. And the third is by operation of law. For example, if you have a holdover tenant or if you have an invalid lease, then you will have a periodic tenancy. Question seven, what is a holdover tenant? Holdover tenant is someone who overstays their lease without the landlord's consent. Holdover tenants can also be called a tenant at sufferance. Question eight, what actions can a landlord take if they have a holdover tenant? If the landlord has a holdover tenant, they generally have two options. They can first refuse to accept payment from the holdover tenant, at which point the tenant will become a tenant in sufferance and then the landlord can evict them. Or you can bind the tenant to a periodic tenancy by either accepting the rent or giving notice to the holdover tenant. Question nine, what is the effect if a landlord accepts rent from a holdover tenant? If the landlord accepts rent from a holdover tenant, then a periodic tenancy is created for that payment period. Question 10, can the landlord raise the rent for a holdover tenant in a periodic tenancy? Yes, the landlord can raise the rent for a holdover tenant as long as the landlord gave notice to the tenant before the original lease expired. And that's the end of your 10 flashcard study round. To reach full mastery, remember to study in Brainscape. Our mobile and web app uses the latest in spaced repetition techniques, allowing you to optimize your study time and track your progress down to the finest detail. But of course, when you're driving, cooking, exercising, or otherwise unable to navigate the app, be sure to keep listening to the rest of this hands-free studying playlist. No matter what subject you're learning and what method you're studying it, Brainscape helps you rise to your challenge. Thank you.